The St. Louis Development Corporation has a downtown activation plan to bring new business to St. Louis. It's in partnership with Greater St. Louis, the mayor's office, and several others in the private sector. In tonight's edition of Positively St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins reports city leaders are on a mission to help spur growth and development downtown. Community leaders say that downtown St. Louis is the front door to the state of Missouri. And that's why the St. Louis Development Corporation, along with the mayor's office, they're proactively working on a plan to revitalize downtown St. Louis. We have a once in a lifetime opportunity to really define the narrative of downtown St. Louis and, and really shape the future that we want for the city. I would say Stephen Davis is the there. vice president of strategic partnerships and initiatives with the SLDC, whose team is focused on key areas in St. Louis City to connect many of the great investments that already exist. SLDC is doubling down on downtown St. Louis. We are here to support small businesses and retailers. Come down and set up shop. Uh, we want to help you eliminate those barriers to entering the market downtown and work with you to help your business succeed in the city of St. Louis. Davis says downtown retail strategy, key partnerships for the business retention, and expansion developers offer a collaborative approach to streamline their plans and link companies with government and economic development officials. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We want to do these projects right. We don't want to rush them and then end up having to cut corners and then pay for it later. City leaders say between the riverfront and the other districts in the urban core, you will start to notice a big difference. The focus areas include creating retail and small business connections between the dome, ballpark village, the soccer stadium, and Bush Stadium. It starts with a commitment to keep downtown St. Louis beautified, removing graffiti, public safety, infrastructure such as lighting, sidewalk enhancement, maintenance such as street level cleanliness, greenery on public streetscapes, and much more. It's the little things that matter, and if we want the larger developments uh, that we're hopeful for in the future, we need to make sure our city uh, looks nice and is the best version of itself. In addition, the St. Louis Development Corporation has paved the way for developers like Greg Glacier, founder and CEO of Good Developments Group, to choose St. Louis for his next major project. I see a lot of opportunity from a development standpoint finding a site that's in a downtown that is a significant area of land that has nobody there to displace or remove is creates an opportunity where you only have upside and positive behind a project which I think is extremely important. There's really three elements of the project that I'm really excited about. First and foremost, again, is activating our waterfront. The Mississippi River is St. Louis's greatest asset and is extremely underutilized. Um, so having that project down there will, will bring that part of the, the waterfront to life. The St. Louis Development Corporation staffs the Port Authority of the City of St. Louis, which supports economic development in the city's 6,000 acre port district, which lies along its 19 miles of the Mississippi River frontage. In August of 2022, the Port Authority entered into an agreement with Good Developments Group to explore the viability of Gateway South which is a mixed-use development plan revitalizing the downtown St. Louis riverfront directly south of the Gateway Arch, commonly referred to as the Shoto's Landing. Second is job creation. Uh, they have a vision to revolutionize the construction industry and do innovation that hasn't been done before here in St. Louis. And again, leveraging that space not only to create jobs, but to upskill folks in St. Louis so they can get on career pathways to good uh, well-paying, sustainable jobs. SLDC is supporting the project through various economic development incentives. Good Development Group will redevelop Gateway South, which over the next 10 years will transform the 100 acres of land just south of the Arch Grounds into a mixed-use district for the design and construction ecosystem. This one will probably start Glacier says first. he plans to renovate the historic Crude and Martin building in the first phase and eventually turn the salvageable but mostly vacant warehouse buildings into a vibrant, innovative geographical hub that can take advantage of the land, sea, and train that flow into that area. The plans include public recreation amenities for the local community and a link between the Arch and Sular. When you can have a situation that can benefit the entire um, community of St. Louis and not have anybody who's here displacing or removing, that's a very positive situation. Gateway South will be the first ever geographical hub for this sector. To learn more about the downtown activation plan, go to developstlouis.org. Now, organizers say this kind of momentum will have a transformative effect 
on the entire city. And this is what Positively St. Louis looks like. I'm Kelly Hoskins.